In these problems, we're dealing with some different units in the metric system in some problems that seem a little bit complex. If you know a couple of little secrets about the metric system, though, they become a lot easier. Let's look at this first problem. It says, Mr. Wang showed his class a cube that had sides one half meter long. So he's got a cube here. And each side is 0.5 of a meter. He said, for the end of the year water balloon fight, you may use the amount of water that would fill this cube. And then it says, if each balloon held 580 milliliters of water, how many balloons did the class fill? So we can use water that fills this size cube, and how many balloons are we going to get filled if they hold this much? What you want to do here, you've got a measurement that's a, a distance measurement. You've got meters here, and you know that that's the length of the side of a cube. What we want to do is figure out the volume of this thing in milliliters. Well, how do we do that? We're going from meters. How do we get to milliliters? One of the nice things about the metric system is that one cubic centimeter is the same in volume as one milliliter. So what we want to do is figure out how many cubic centimeters are in this cube, and that's how many milliliters will be in the cube. What I'm going to do first is convert this 0.5 meters into centimeters. And for that, I need to know this fact. 100 centimeters are in one meter. And from that, I could make a conversion factor, 100 centimeters per one meter. And I could um, put 0.5 meters as a fraction, whoops, multiply it by my conversion factor. And what I'm going to get there when I do the math on that is 50 centimeters. Half of a meter is 50 centimeters. So this cube is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. If we want to figure out how many cubic centimeters are in this cube, it's going to be 50 times 50 times 50. That's how we figure out the volume here. And that is a lot. It's 125,000 cubic centimeters, which means it's 125,000 milliliters. The next part of the question says how many balloons that hold 580 milliliters can you fill with this? So what we want to do is divide this by 580 and see what we get. And when I do that on my calculator, I get 215.5. So you could fill 215 and a half. We won't count the half, and we'll just say 200, whoops, 215 balloons. That sounds like enough balloons for a pretty fun water fight. So the key to know in this one is that cubic centimeters are the same thing as milliliters. Let's look at one more. This one says an aquarium with the dimensions shown below, and it's 100 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 56 centimeters, is filled with water. Two parts of the question. A, how many liters of water are in the aquarium? And B, how many kilograms of water are in the aquarium? Well, we know how to do A now because we know that cubic centimeters is the same as milliliters. And once we get this into milliliters, we can convert it to liters. So let's do that. The first part to figure out the cubic centimeters in volume is we have to multiply the three sides. So 100 times 56 times 35. And I get 196,000 cubic centimeters, which means, let's give myself a little more room here, which means we have 196,000 milliliters, because cubic centimeters are the same thing as milliliters. Now we need to convert this to liters. And to convert this to liters, I need to know how many milliliters are in a liter, or how many liters are in a milliliter. Well, it's 1,000 milliliters per one liter. Or I could write that, I don't write liters like that. Or I could write one liter per 1,000 milliliters. So I can convert this by taking my number, 196,000 milliliters, and make that a fraction, multiply it by one of these, and I want to choose the one where milliliters is on the bottom, so it'll cancel with the one that's on the top here. So that's one liter, 1,000 milliliters. So essentially what I'm doing here is dividing by 1,000, 
And what this comes out to is 196 liters. So for A, 196 liters. That's part A. Let's look at part B. It says, how many kilograms of water are in the aquarium? And this is another cool thing to learn about the metric system. One liter of water has a mass of one kilogram. Now that's when water is at uh, 39 point something degrees Fahrenheit or 3 point something degrees Celsius. But in general, a liter of water has a mass of a kilogram. So the answer for this one, how many kilograms of water, is the same with the units change. It's 196 kilograms. Once you figure out liters, you've basically got kilograms. So those are some questions with uh, metric units and converting between distance and volume and mass.